Hey everyone, Olaf here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a loop animation on the X, Y, and Z axis using animation nodes in Blender. I think it's a pretty simple tutorial to follow, so I think most people will be able to follow this tutorial to the end. But if you have any questions about the tutorial, you can just leave them in the comments, and I will help you out. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by switching to Cycles Render first. So switch from Blender Render to Cycles Render. And then you want to go down to the website in the description and download animation nodes. So go to GitHub and download the animation nodes zip file. And just save it wherever you want on the computer. I'm just going to save it in documents. And after it's downloaded, we're going to go back to Blender and open the add-on. So we need to go to File and then use the preferences, then add on, you want to click install from file, and then go to, I saved it at documents, so go to the place where you save the uh, zip file, and then open it. So install from file, and then just double check if you have um, the add on on, I'm going to search for it. It's nodes, so animation nodes, I've already checked it off. So now we can start animating, so I'm going to grab up this uh, window and make a new one as well. Click T to remove the side menu on the left side and then we're going to go into um, the node editor in the window below. So uh, switch to node editor and I'm going to add a node tree so click new and then click shift A to add a new node. And the first one we're going to add is an object node. So go to the top and add a transform output uh, node. You need to check off all the location boxes because uh, that means you're going to animate it on the uh, X, Y, and Z axis. And you can also check off uh, rotation and scale. But I'm only going to animate location in this tutorial, so you don't actually need to uh, add them. So now that we have the cube selected in the node, I'm going to click Shift A to add a new one again. And I'm going to add a repeat node which is going to loop the animation so I'm going to switch it to ping pong because I think it looks cooler and then we need to add a new node and I'm going to click shift A again to add a new one and this time it's going to be a time info node and when we connect all these together we're going to um, move the cube and when the frame changes the location is also going to change right now it's connected to the x-axis so when the frame changes, it's going to move on the x-axis. And as we have a repeat time node with a ping pong type animation, it's also going to go back and forth, which is kind of the topic of this tutorial, which is loop. So right now it's looping on the x-axis back and forth. So let's start combining the different axes to make other kinds of animations. So I'm going to cut this one and connect it to the uh, y-axis and as you see it moves on the y-axis back and forth and if we connect it to the z-axis as well it's going to uh, move on the y and z-axis at the same time back and forth and there are many ways to control these um, movements by um, connecting them together and as you will see soon adding multipliers so that it's going to move differently on the different axes Okay, so I think it's time to add the first math node, so that we can add mul multipliers. So um, let's go back to frame 1, and then just grab this one a little bit away. And then I'm going to click Shift A to add a new node. And the math node you can find in um, the numbers uh, category. And go down to... Um, oh, it's down in the bottom. So math, and then connected between the um, repeat time and the time info. I'm going to multiply it by four, and as you can see, it moves four times as fast. So this is where you can control the animation loops using um, a math node. But I'm going to add more of these. So let's just make it one again. And what I'm going to show you next is how to um, decrease or increase the loop distance 
of the object. So what I'm going to do is to go down to, let's just pause first, go down to repeat time, and I'm going to decrease the time rate. So if you click play again, you can see that the distance is shorter because we decrease the rate. So if we increase the uh, math multiplier, you can see that it moves faster within a um, smaller interval for the animation. So that's a way you can change both the speed and the distance of your loop. And you can also do the same thing for the rotation and the scale if you just uh, switch up the uh, notes a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to um, have different values on the set y and x axis so that it moves maybe more on the x-axis than it moves on the z-axis, for example. So um, let's just connect the z and the y-axis. And you can see it moves back and forth on the z and y-axis. We might need to uh, make the multiplier a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to add a new math node so that it moves more on one axis than the other. So let's go to number and add a math node. And let's just connect it between the time and the y-axis. And if we increase the value on the multiplier for the y-axis, let's make it uh, 5, you're going to see that it moves way more on the uh, y-axis than it does on the z-axis. So that's another way to control how much you want to move, rotate, or uh, scale an object on the different axes. So you can actually choose how much you want to um, change the values on each uh, axis. So let's do the same thing for the uh, z-axis. And as you can see, it moves way more on the z-axis than it does on the y-axis when you have the math multiplier connected between the um, repeat time and the um, input for the axis. And now you know how to um, make a loop interval. You need to know how to decrease and increase the scale. and um, increase the speed on the different axes. So um, I'm going to make a new tutorial on animation nodes very soon, so stay tuned. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I usually respond to all of them. So thank you for watching.